Most businesses and organizations uh, have a major concern online, and that is with content privacy. Uh, the fact of the matter is that sometimes you want your content to be public so that everybody can access it from any URL, and sometimes you want to make your content in a manner that only certain people will actually view that. Uh, or you want to make it completely private so that it is uh, available only internally within your organization. Uh, so with Visme, you can actually achieve all of those. You can uh, use it for marketing, for internal use, you can pass or protect content, and you can make it private. So here's how you can actually do that. Um, once you open a project, in this case, this is a presentation, but you could do this with pretty much any type of content you create with Visme. Infographics, animations, it really does not matter. The capabilities are the same in terms of publishing. Uh, you can at any time go in and go to the Publish Settings. And under the Share section, you have three different options. You have the Published, which by default, your content will always be public. So if you look here, if I go to this content, it is accessible from this URL and it can be viewed. However, what if you want to make your content private? What if you want your content to not be indexed by Google and you want uh, only uh, certain people to be able to get to that content? The way you do that is you click on a privacy, the private option, and once you do that, you have actually the ability to also pass or protect it. Now, you can leave the password protection off, which is a default setting. And what that does is it allows you to still go to this URL, uh, but it will not be indexed by Google. So for example, if I take this content, and right now it is private, and if I go through anybody from outside your account, so anybody else that does not have access to your Visme account goes to it, what they're going to do is get that this project is pri uh, private. And so this content can only be accessible by you. What you can also do though is you can make the content password protected. So what that means is that you can send anyone to that URL and if they get to it, they would have to um, enter a password. So let me go ahead and actually enter a password here. Uh, I'll just go ahead and put test as a password. And if I go to that project, what will occur is I'm prompted by a password entry. So if I enter an invalid password, I will not be able to get to that content. But if I enter the uh, correct password, then I will be able to access that content. So this is very similar to um, giving uh, protection of your content on um, intranets where only certain people can actually get to that information. Uh, so the privacy you can do is keep it password protected, which was by turning this on and entering a password. In that regard, anybody with this link can get to it if they have the right password. And you can turn the privacy off. And in that case, uh, your content will not be visible by anybody else, as I had shown you before, and regardless of whether you, they have a password or not. Um, so what, why would you make your content private? Uh, you would make your content private, for example, if you do not want Google to ever be able to index that information. Um, you would make it private if you wanted to just use Visme for the purpose of downloading your content and not having your content public. You would make your content published, which is uh, by default is the um, is the public uh, version of your content. In that case, anybody can get to your content and Google can index it. And this is valuable if you're using Visme for marketing, if you're using it to uh, you know, share information online and you want to drive traffic to this content, and you want people from Twitter and other social networks to be able to get to your content, uh, you would definitely want to, in that case, make your content published and public. Uh, private, if, again, as it is, it's internal use, or if you want to use it for the sake of downloading. Um, you can also use the not published uh, content. And if you do a non published, then what happens is if somebody goes outside of you, outside of your account, goes to that URL, it will say that this project is not published yet. Now, what is the difference between this and the private? The difference is that with the privacy, you can actually set password protection. With the publish, it's just internal. Um, only you or people within your organization that you give access to, in other words, if you have a team account with Visme, you have more than a few employees, only they, when they log into Visme, can they actually 
access the content. So in this case, um, if you had additional people that you had shared your project with within your organization, so let's say there's a team of 10 employees in a company and you share this project with others, and if you keep your content um, uh, published, uh, anybody can get to it. If you keep it private, uh, they can get to that content and in the case of it being uh, not published, they can open it and of course it would still not be visible to anybody else. And let's go back to a couple more settings here. Um, in terms of published settings, so what if you want to have your content be public for everybody to be able to access it, however you want to know who is viewing it. So under the published settings there's a neat feature called requires registration. If you turn this on, what will happen is now, uh, let me make this published. So you want to keep your content published and then make it under published settings, require registration. And what will happen is if you were to actually visit your content, it would ask you for, uh, before you are able to see that content, you must enter your name and information. So let's go ahead, I'll just enter the information here. And I'll go ahead and enter an email and then an this case name of a company so if I actually submit this content imagine if I was a user um, then I would be able to oh, let me put a valid email address here um, okay so Jason there we go and if I enter that password then there you go so that information just got collected and what happens is now I can actually access that content um, if I wish to now what is the advantage of that? Um, it, it's very commonly used to collect leads. So imagine this uh, is more like a white paper. You go to various sites and they ask you to register before you access the content. Well, the principles are pretty much the same. So that information now is actually available in the dashboard. So if I go to the dashboard area and if I was to refresh And notice that on this side, there is the data and there's form results. And it shows a one because there's a new entry. So if you notice here, on this date, Jason Patrick from this email, this company actually accessed this project from this specific IP address. So this is a fantastic way for you to collect leads um, and to know who is in your content and while you have public information. And of course, what you can do is you can also download this data here and what that allows you to do is to be able to uh, get a Excel friendly or CSV friendly content which you can then actually open up and you'll be able to utilize that information into um, any other third party that you want to have. So for example, let's say you want to import the Salesforce, you want to use uh, MailChimp or you want to even just open that information, any spreadsheet program such as Excel, Office and so on. Uh, so that's the way that you can achieve that. Uh, therefore, as you can see, Visme allows you to, uh, for organizations or individuals that are concerned about the privacy of your content, you do not just have to always keep it public. Yeah, you can create your content and keep it private, and then you can actually go in and maybe download your information into any of the other formats, use your content offline without anybody be able to access it. Naturally speaking, for sales marketing reasons, you want to keep it private, and that's the default setting. Go ahead and give it a try. Thank you very much.